Hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing great. Today I'm going to show you a very interesting project for data visualization and human machine interface in the industrial environment. This can be a great project and example for your upcoming Industry 4.0 or the Internet of Things program in your company. Today I'm going to use Python as an open source programming language and also many other open source libraries for data visualization and also a Siemens PLC S7 1500 or 1516 CPU to be exact as an OPC UA connection. The communication between our data visualization software and the PLC will be OPC UA apparently as I explained. Configuring the OPC UA server in the Siemens PLC is very easy and convenient. With just a few clicks, you will have an OPC UA server up and running. As you see in this project, this is the TI Portal version 17. I have a couple PLCs, but for this demonstration, I'm just using this PLC S7-1516 CPU as my OPC UA server. If you are not familiar with how to configure the OPC UA, maybe I can quickly show you here. You just go to your device configuration or your hardware configuration and you go to your properties of the CPU. And then there is an OPC UA section. Just simply activate the OPC UA server. And then you need to set up a username and password for the security. Apparently, Siemens 1500 and 1200 CPUs, they support various security levels. But for this demonstration, I'm using no security or the lowest level security here. But it's still, we will have a username and password for accessing the data in our PLC. But apparently, in the production environment, you will need some certificate to secure your connection and so on. So that's as simple as it sounds. So basically you activated your OPC UA and then you can share your data. For this demonstration, I have a very simple database which includes four variables and the data type is integer. And all I need to do is to come down to the OPC UA communication on the server interfaces and I create a new interface and I add my variables here, or in other words, my tags. So any other OPC UA client with, uh, um, with having the username and password or required certificate can access the, the, this data from this OPC UA server, which is my PLC. So as I mentioned, I'm going to show you how this project works. And on the next step, I'm going to talk about the data visualization and I will leave this page open for testing purposes. So on the data visualization, I have a Python code. As you see, it's around, it's not a very big project. It's around 276 uh, lines of code. And I'm using OPC UA open source library and also PyQt for data visualization. If you have followed my channel, this page, uh, this project might be familiar for you. I've been using this project for uh, speech recognition in my previous videos. If you haven't checked that out, you can check it out. And on this project, I have added the OPC UA capability within the project. So as you see here, this is my software. I highly recommend uh, PyQt for data visualization because it's open source and it looks great, it looks modern and you can achieve anything you want within this um, platform or framework basically. So in my program, I have four dialing object, if you can call it, or knobs. So by changing these variables, I, this is my variable one, two, three, four. And these four uh, graphical objects are connected to the uh, graph on the top and also these LED displays and also they send the data to my OPC UA. 
So as you see here, I have my variables and I'm remotely connecting to another computer because my PLC is connected to another computer. So I'm going to show you when I change the values here, this value will be graphed on the top and also the corresponding value will be sent to the PLC as well. So as I mentioned, this is connected to my variable one. As you see here, I have the value 41 and 41 in real time is being sent to my PLC or my OPC UI server, my variable two, number 50 and it goes 50, no, variable three and variable four. And as you see, we have real time graphs here as well. And I can just change them as much as I want. And you can just expand the application of this example to many other things. Just don't forget, this needs very, I wouldn't say a very expert programmer, but you will need a software developer to create something like this. As you know, Siemens and other companies, they provide you a human machine interface or HMI and a SCADA software packages and they are commercialized, you buy the license for them and they have to take care of all of this uh, software development for you because if you don't know what you're doing on, uh, on a custom customized software like this, you might run into the trouble in the production environment. The reason I have um, explained this example is not that uh, Siemens or other HMI or SCADA packages are not useful. Apparently they are the best, especially Siemens application that I have used throughout the years. They have amazing features. It, they cut a lot of your engineering and development times. So you don't have to deal with any, every single object and line of code basically. But at the same time, a project like this and that uh, uses open source uh, programming languages and libraries can be very variable and it can save you a lot of uh, cost for sure. If you would use a software developer for your HMI development in, uh, as I mentioned, in your industry 4.0 or Internet of Things program in your company. So that's about it for today. Um, I'm going to fast forward the video and I'm going to do a little bit of tests and I will uh, stop the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me or, or your local uh, Siemens sales representative or your technical support person for more information about the OPC UA on Siemens PLCs or any other product from Siemens for um, human machine interface, Internet of Things or SCADA and any uh, industrial automation project. Okay, until next time, have a great day.